Well, tonight we are learning more about a purchase made by the Erie County Executive that some are calling unusual. The Erie Times News was first to report Brenton Davis and some members of his administration have badges that look similar to what law enforcement would carry. Chelsea Swift did some digging into the matter and joins us in the studio with what she's learned. Chelsea. Jen, Erie County Executive Brenton Davis has purchased several badges for himself and members of his administration, and he refused to comment on the matter earlier today. County Erie County Executive Brenton Davis purchasing badges that look similar to the ones members of law enforcement carry. According to members of Erie County Council, Davis used hundreds of dollars from the administration's budget to pay for six of these badges. One Erie County Councilman says he believes these badges are only intended to draw attention, not an attempt to be a law enforcement official. The chairman of Erie County Council says the administration should leave the work to the Erie County Sheriff's Office and other members of law enforcement. They're all outstanding organizations that protect us. The county executive and county council have more important things to do than walk around seeing who gets a badge. Uh, we have a budget that's coming up and God only knows what's going to happen with that. That's what we should be working on and uh, I just find it immature. Numerous uh, people in government in different positions that carry a badge, not acting as law enforcement, just as a form of identification. Uh, you know, in a, in a crisis situation or one of these difficult incidents, it's an easy way to, you know, identify a person when they when they get to the scene. Erie County Sheriff Chris Campanelli says he has never known any of the previous county executives to carry a badge. Members of county council have different perspectives. Not a very good one, uh, especially when we're, we're de trying to deal with the homeless and helping them and, and services that we perform to county residents that need our services. That's a, that's a shortfall to them. And it's not uh, in any way trying to be a law enforcement officer or official. Uh, you know, I think it's I think it's pretty petty. I think that it's uh, something that uh, doesn't doesn't mean anything within the, the the scope of what we're trying to do in the county. And we want to take a moment to recognize that today is Chelsea's last day here at Jet TV. We are going to miss you tremendously. You have been such a huge asset to our station and the Erie community, and we're very proud of you, and we're going to miss you a lot. Jen, I'm going to miss everyone here at Jet 24 and everyone in Erie, honestly. I've loved living here the last four years, and I'll be moving to Buffalo to report there. And yeah, it's just been a great time here in Erie. And I think we have someone who and wants to come Don't forget the in. eclipse. Here's a moon pie for you. I'll never forget the eclipse. We will miss you. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Jen. We certainly will. And we're happy that you're getting to go back to your home state. There's nothing like going home. That's right. All right, Chelsea, best of luck to you. Thank you.